Welcome to Tow Industry Week. I'm your host, Emily Oz. Thanks for joining us for this episode. Oh, hearken the days of American Towman's elaborate wrecker pageants, the glitz, the glamour, the eye-popping art. If you've been, you know what I'm talking about. Chances are, then, you've seen the work of Towman's Picasso, Cecil Burroughs. Cecil is usually on hand at our conventions, ready to stand by proudly next to his handiwork. Making dreams come alive for customers across the United States who want the ultimate in custom painting for their favorite wreckers. His work is already socially distant stuff, so the pandemic hasn't slowed down his craft. Here's what he's been up to lately. Good evening, my name is Cecil Burroughs, otherwise known as Cecil. I'm here at Vintage. I'm here to give you some insights on what I do, my airbrushing. A lot of people have seen my stuff over the years. Nowadays, people are wrapping their cars, their trucks, everything you can put a wrap on. But I would say, like, commercial-wise, if you have a, a company and they have quite a few trucks, it makes sense for you to wrap those trucks. But if you have one truck that you want to take to a show, then you're going to do it the way I, I do a lot of show quality stuff. That's the only difference, but, but it depends on what you want, you get what you want. The only thing is, I would say that they have different values. Artwork is based on natural creativity of your, your nerves, your hand, your, your nerve to create stuff, to draw stuff, the ability to transfer the information from one place to the next and getting it correct. Whereas if you do a rap, you take pictures, you put it in the computer and you just resize it and reprint it. So that's a wrap. Now the, the process, as I said, basically on most jobs, prepping is the key. You have to prep it properly so that your paint can stick to the vehicle. Whatever you're using, whatever you're painting on, you have to prep it properly. By sanding it, cleaning it, prep salt, it's gotta be wax free, oil free, and then you lay out your artwork and then you airbrush. Then I start to incorporate that with my artwork and people start to see it and say, yo, you know, look nice and things. So I just say, all right, I'm gonna go on and do it that kind of way. I'm gonna start doing the airbrushing. So it lead to me doing stuff like this, you know what I mean? So you can't doubt yourself in a life when you feel like you want to do something. And when people tell you, you can't, do it just go out and do it and make the best I yeah I'd step back and I look at it sometime and I ask myself if I did you know because while you're doing it your brain is in a different place so when you step back from actually doing the work it just wow just amazing the first person I gotta say is my good friend Tony I got your services it's always been there for me my brother and Rob always helped me out all the time for years and as you can see he's letting me use his shop to do this interview to work as well so I have to say big up to my man Rob we hope to see you all back at our conventions in 2021 so you can see the pageant again in person along with Cecil's handiwork. Here are the dates, so mark your calendars. And if you have a story idea you'd like to share, please email me at ozattv at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.